Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to show you a couple of things that is new that I got. Um, <clears throat> and I've already tried them, so um, I can tell you what I think of them. Um, just a few things that I've been using for a couple days here. Um, <clears throat> I do have purple in my hair now. I need to do probably some more because I only got two of the boxes and I have really thick hair so I think I need about two or three more but that's pretty cute I used um, I'll insert a picture here I used the ion um, lavender brights um, next time next round not this round I'm gonna get some more of the ion but the next round I'm, I'm probably gonna get Arctic Fox it's probably your best and this is just like semi-permanent it'll wash out but um, even though it will wash out, it will tone my hair since my hair is blonde, so it won't be so yellow brassy. So anyways, um, I'm going to show you what I have and I'll probably, I'll just put that on while, um, we talk about it. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with, um, I got the neon, um, by, um, Huda. I got the neon palette. It is the orange one. It's very cute. I've been having so much fun with this. It's so cute. I love it. It's very cute. Um, <clears throat> so before I start putting that on, I use this one. I don't remember if you remember I had it in like some new stuff that I had. This is $2.99 at um, TJ Maxx and it's kind of like a dupe for the Huda Smoky Obsessions. So I'll start with this and then I'll start putting this on after I have the base of this on. So, I'm going to go in with this color right here first. I'm just going to put it all over my eye. Try to put it up to the, almost up to the brow. And just kind of work that in the crease and a little bit above, like, well, quite a bit above. And do that. So... Hopefully y'all been doing good. I've been doing a lot better, a lot better. So, um, glad. <laughs> I think it has a lot to do with I take my medicine on a more regular basis. I ain't gonna lie and say I take it every day, but it does help. And then I'm gonna go in with this brown color right here and kind of just put it like right below. And that just gives us a base for like the colors so they all kind of go together and looks pretty, it just looks really cool that I've noticed. So, see, like I do looks and stuff in the morning before work. Like I'm pretty fast at makeup. Sometimes the faster looks are the ones that turns out like really cute. <clears throat> but yeah, I think that is the base. Let me look at it here. Looks pretty good. I love makeup. I love taking my time doing it, but I also have other shit to do. Just to let you know. Okay, so I'm and I don't even know what I'm doing here. Um this is just I just make it up as I go. I'm going to throw on some scotch tape to get that extra crisp line. I don't do this a lot. It, I mean, no, I put it on here on that so it's not so. If you do it, it's cool if you do it every day. I just don't. I don't know. Just put it on here and you'll have that extra crisp line. Boop, boop. So you have it on each side. So... Here we go. I am loving this. Like it's a little palette, but I've just been loving it. So my husband ordered it for me. Like I didn't really know. And then he's like, Hey, look, um, at this receipt. And I'm like, Oh, okay. <laughs> Cause I'll be in, um, Sephora just in my own little world and he'll be over there buying me stuff. And I'm like, okay, I can deal with this. So what I've been using is that Luxie 250 large um, eye blend, blending. Yeah. Hey, no, no. But uh, I got it in uh, boxy charm or something. Enough. Shadow. Shadow. 
I tell you. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. <coughs> Enough. <coughs> Shadow. Enough. <coughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with this right here. They don't have names. But I'm gonna go right in with this and kind of just, oh, uh-oh. We'll just kind of put it over the brown and stuff that we had. I have made some really cute looks with this so far. Shush it. So, but now that I have purple in my hair, I don't really care. It might clash, but I don't care. I'm just gonna put that kind of all over. You can still, I'm gonna have to do some fallout cleanup, but uh, see, so you can still see. And in between, I just do the um, color switch, the little, the little pad with, so I can keep using the same brush. I do use other brushes though, but this one is like my absolute favorite. So, looks like it needs to be blended right there. So some, I go back and forth between the palettes. I'm gonna take some more of that, kind of put it up here. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna put what should I put? The orange, which is this one. I'm gonna put the orange kind of all over. It's just like a nice shimmer. It's not really like orange. It's kind of like an orange tint. So it's really pretty. The whole thing's pretty. I like every color pretty much. Okay, so we got the orange kind of on as a base. What I'm gonna do is take the pink, and kind of put it in that crease. I'm gonna use a different brush here. I'm gonna use a Luxie 209 large shader. Clean it off a little there. And just put it in the crease. Just like that. So that's what we have. So far so good, I think. Kind of make it like a sunset. So, and then I'm gonna put um, on the bottom and in the corner, I'm gonna put the yellow. So, I really love this palette. I, I'm i thinking about getting the other ones too, the pink and the green. Cause like, once I've opened this, I don't even wanna put it down. And I'm not like that with a lot of palettes. But that's just my opinion, like I don't even wanna put it down. Like I wanna use it every day. And you can make some subtle looks with this. Like I'll just use the smoky one and then just put a pop of color on the bottom or something. But okay, if you can get this and you like different colors, I say pick it up because I have not want to put it down. I've just wanted to like do a look with it every single day. So I'm gonna put a little of the shimmery orange or yellow with on the top of that matte yellow. So I think that's the look for that. I'm gonna tear these off. I think that one went a little out, but there's a good line there. I'll just clean that up here with the tissue. Okay, so that's really colorful. 
this one's a little better because it's got the line. This one has a line, this one really don't. So what I do is I go back in and kind of blend. So that line is a little diffused, but not like so diffused you can't tell. But I think it looks cute. And so I'm gonna put on my eyeliner real quick here. And then I'll show you what else I got. I got I had I got a couple things, but and I'll show you one thing that I'm not so sure of. You guys can give me your opinion if you guys have tried it before. But I'm gonna show you. I got the Fit Me powder, and I feel like a I don't like the packaging because it's it. When I first opened it, I dumped so much of it because I wasn't used to the square. And then I think it I I put concealer on and I set everything, even my eyes, and I feel like it makes my eyes crusty or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. But uh, yeah. So let me get this a little bit. Make sure it's smudged against the line here. Looks pretty cute. Okay, so put a little bit of mascara on. So I'm gonna use Better Than Sex mascara. And I don't wear lashes. That's for special occasions. And even on special occasions, I don't wear them, so whatever I like them I like the looks of them but I just don't like having to apply them and then sometimes they get wonky you know and like and you and it just drives you crazy so um I think I'm just gonna leave it like that I'm not gonna put anything in my waterline cuz whatever okay so my next thing I'm gonna talk about is the Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette and I got it at TJ Maxx for like $19.99 it looks like this very pretty we have I'll read you the names on it you have I can't it's like upside down <laughs> I am NOT the best at this okay what if I hold it like this okay you got no I do not know <laughs> um, highlighter beach nectar I think it's that one Rose Gold is this one. Bloom Hibiscus is this one. And Malibu Soul is a bronzer. So we got bronzer, blush, and two highlighters. And they're really pretty. Like, pretty. So I'm going to put that on. So I'm going to go in with the bronzer. Which is this one. And I'm going to use the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation. But I'm using it for this. Just put it in our normal spots here. Bronze up that face. That white, white face. So who all is going to Area 51 <laughs> and storming it? <laughs> Any of y'all? I'm not. Because y'all know there's aliens there, man. And you don't want them aliens to come out and get you. But we gotta save them. They're probably doing a lot of testing on them. Okay. And then the blush. Boop, 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 boop. And highlighter. Where's my highlight brush? And then I'm gonna put the highlighter, this one, on. Just the normal highlighting spots. And then after all that's done, I take this brush. It is uh, Real Techniques and it's kind of dense. I just uh, melt all that together. So yeah, I'm just saying, this is very nice. This is like the second or third time I used it, love it. Totally love and totally recommend both. Love this. And even if you can go to TJ Maxx and find this, 
I recommend because it's like a dupe of the Huda Smoky Obsessions. So I'm gonna put on the Morphe um, Continuous Setting Mist. And that is my look for today. So hopefully, I'm sorry if I bored you today. I just woke up, so give me some slack. Sorry about the dog. But anyways, um, I'm just going to come back. I'm going to have a little haul with my friend Marley pretty soon. So I'll be doing that. And who knows where life leads me. But uh, thank you for watching. Um, make sure you like, comment, um, subscribe. And I'll be back around. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.